Mauna Loa and Mount Semeru volcanoes have erupted within a week. Is it a sign of something bigger? What does it mean for the planet? About 250 million years ago, the Siberian traps, remnants of widespread volcanic activity, might have triggered the Great Dying, which released toxic volumes of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, raising air and sea temperatures. It erased 96% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial species. When we pit this against recent volcanic activities, the comparison falls short because human contribution to the carbon cycle is more than 100 times those from all the volcanoes in the world combined. Carbon emissions from the 2014 Holofraun eruption in Iceland, the 2006 Etna volcano in Italy and the 2010 Eyjafjallajökull Kutul eruption in Iceland have released 9,330 kilotons, 644 kilotons and 5,130 kilotons of CO2 respectively as opposed to fossil fuel burning and cement production which released 36.3 gigatons of CO2 in the atmosphere in 2015. So, the largest CO2-emitting eruption in the past 15 years produced only 0.026% of annual emissions from human activities. Moreover, volcanoes in hotspots such as Hawaii, Iceland or the Canary Islands tend to emit more CO2 than those in zones such as Semeru. In explosive volcanoes, magma erupts rapidly out of the volcano as pressure builds with a temperature range of 200 to 700 degrees Celsius, destroying everything in their path. The Mount Semeru eruption was less severe than Tonga, the underwater volcano that erupted on January 15, 2022. Tonga generated flows that travelled 50 miles from their source. After the 1991 Mount Pinatubo explosion in the Philippines, there was a half degree Celsius drop in the average global temperature over large parts of Earth from 1992 through 1993, with SO2 mass being 20 teragrams. Contrastingly, Mauna Loa released about 0.2 teragrams of SO2 this year, a reduction from 1984 when it released 1.2 teragrams. Roughly 3 teragrams of SO2 was released per year on an average in the last decade. When a volcano releases SO2 particles, they mix with water vapour and form aerosols which can scatter and absorb incoming sunlight. According to the IPCC report, if an explosive eruption occurs in the 21st century, it could lower surface temperature and precipitation globally for 1-3 to three years and temporarily mask human-caused climate change.